Doctor. Uh, what did you observe about him today in court? Well, it, there was a distinct difference today from what we observed from the reports when he first appeared in court. This was our first time to see him in person. And I would say he looked, you know, there was a, there was a little bit of, um, of a kind of um, disjointed eye movements. He would look up. There were times when uh, the judge would be talking about something and his eyes would be very wide, but he was very engaging. He didn't look confused or lost. To be honest with you, Drew, I think he looked bored. He wow. was, um, you know, he was sitting in his chair, rocking in the chair back and forth. He did speak to counsel. Um, at one point, he, at one point when, um, the attorney for the news media who was trying to um, release the gag order and um, allow press into the courtroom, when he finished his motion and was turning to leave the podium, uh, the suspect looked up, and he, he had a look of such abject hostility that it was um, – we got goosebumps. It was chilling. So your reaction to being there today, why, why did you feel it was important to be there? Well, you know, I think in this case, um, there are so many mass murders that we've had and that have been on the press where the, the suspects wind up either being killed by the police or taking their own lives. And in this case, this was so heinous. Um, I think to a large extent, having the opportunity to face the person that's created such havoc in all of our lives was in some way cathartic, if that makes sense. And, and no, it I think, does. you know, we wanted to get a sense of him because, you know, we're, we're all asking the million dollar question, why? And right. who could do such a thing? And right. how does this happen? And I can tell you that my impression of the suspect is that I was looking at someone who was evil. I mean, he exuded that. And I was looking at someone the likes of which I've never encountered before in my life.